Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we should be live. We should be... We're live. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. no. Oh, oh, God. no. This can be horrible. I will not be the, the person that will hold down Resifitra just because I'm tired. Oh, no. Resifitra is now... Yes. She can do it. Yes. She can do whatever she wants now. She can cause all the havoc. <laughs> She's been unleashed on the world. Let's just wait till I regain my energy by eating mandarins, man. <laughs> That's fair. But yeah. Welcome to session five. You survived this far. Do it two more times, or I guess double this number, and you get yourself to session 10. Oh Let's boy. Go. That's how I numbers work. Us. Yes. Actually, it's also count. 10 sessions. <laughs> Can you survive the 10 sessions? Seriously? Yeah, imagine on our campaign, our friend uh, died in like the second session because of the, the stupid trap. Bruh. <laughs> to be fair, you guys were rolling absolutely horrendously. <laughs> Stop rolling better than us. I cannot. It is my curse, as it is my ability. Listen. Stop it. Just stop it. Always roll <laughs> good on offensive. Rolls always roll bad and the saving ones, yeah. Uh, let's see, but yeah, I guess uh, Bunny is not gonna be present today because she has some nope, stuff. she's busy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I guess, um, uh, since everybody's here, uh, I don't think there's need to be a delay or of anything. Uh, a simple question to all of you. You ready to begin the fifth session? Yeah. Yes. You've been born ready or something. Damn. What save of motivation. <laughs> oh, you were born? Damn. I won't answer you not? this question. Deep <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, were you not? <laughs> Obviously not. Deep lore. So, Deep lore. last uh, we left off, uh, you were traveling uh, with uh, uh, basically to the drop site or where Jockey fought was a drop site of sorts. You did find a hideout with a map that uh, signified uh, potentially other hideouts in the basically in the region. Um, not finding anything else except for a magical tripwire with conjuration magic that apparently conjured up. Uh, uh, birds that the precipitator tried to consume one of them and identify one of them, figuring out that it belonged to some sort of satyr that apparently sent more satyrs after them. Uh, with uh, no time to delay, you got on the road and basically prepared for combat and traversed uh, further down the road towards. Uh, Towards, towards Sutter City, that is not Eek, but the city of Platus. Um, going there, uh, you spent the night, nothing happened, and then the next day you start to see. Well, you first you found a completely fucked up elf ridden with arrows and a bunch of satyr tracks that land in this zigzagging pattern. Then a few hours later, you found an uh, overturned uh, wagon with still a live horse uh, by the tree lines. And Detective Joseph uh insights conducted that their, that wagon belonged to seven dead individuals that were all killed very swiftly and very, very brutally on the road. Their bodies drowned in puddles of water and... Uh, not a single survivor. Uh, besides simple loot uh, and just going through everything, you found a wax seal letter that basically asked for help because Platus itself got besieged. And technically, technically, that was the last mm -hmm. we left off. So anybody's I just want to make it abundantly clear that I did not try to consume one of the birds. I did consume <laughs> one of the birds. You it did. It just disappeared in that moment. Okay. So. Also, by the way, uh, 
the overlay for Euro is a bit uh, too big for the font. It's uh, going out of bounds. Oh no. Yes. Too fat. Oh no. Oh no, it's She's too away. thick. You're the thicky boy. You're, you're all too thick confirmed? Damn. <laughs> I mean, true. <laughs> Okay, how, do you the f how the fuck you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, um, with that being said, uh, what would you like to do? Because technically that's where we last left off. So, Platus is on the siege right now. If to let In the letter. Yes. Well, then we have to go and help. We should right. go help, yes. Well, if you say so, then let's go. Wait, where's the map? We shall solve this case! <laughs> yeah, yeah, calm down. We have to help the people. Um, it's the future seems to shrink a bit. Oh no. Sad slime. Is this down enough? <laughs> oh. Mm. <sighs> Araxis, can you post the map in, in Dice Roller, please? Uh, give me a second. Please. <laughs> please. Please. Okay, fine, fine, give me a second. The, yes. um, the one that you received, right? Yeah, uh, or just the standard one. I'm just confused where we are right now. I oh, don't okay. have a brain. Damn, yeah, you should have saved the map, but there you go. Another, another image of the same map. Thank the you. Hmm. So yeah, you were heading from Eek uh, down the road towards Platus or somewhere. Oh, we're near Platus. Okay. Yeah. Why I not? Yeah. Some platypuses in the city. <laughs> wow. Agent P. I mean, yeah. There's no reason for us not to go there, right? Because it's kind of on the way anyway, and we can help people. If it's on the way, then I don't see why not. Yeah. Let's go. So! Uh, if I remember correctly, with a, with a charming apple, uh, our tief your tiefling companion did uh, got a very good animal handling check, so nobody needs to roll anything for the horse. Uh, but somebody needs to roll a d10, because you're still traveling from one place to another. Hope you don't fuck her. Oh, uh... Yeah, who's, who's gonna... A D10. I think I've rolled a dice. I've, I've rolled it before. Okay, I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna roll it. Okay. Yep, do it up. Pain. <laughs> two. <laughs> the midday skies are simple and nothing to gawk at. No ambushes or attacks from the satyr, but bad news for all of you as, <laughs> well, how do I say this? Rain start to fall upon you about an hour in from acquiring the cart. So congratulations. Uh, you have a cart that has some sort of roof, so you're not soaking wet, but Yay. rain is still plentiful, and yeah. <sighs> but with that being said, that's fine. That's fine to me. That's fine. Yeah, it's for a fit that puts like a tentacle out of the cart uh, to blow in the like uh, wind while we uh, continue. <laughs> I'll put up my robe hood. I'm just cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Who's driving the cart? Uh, technically the idea, because she rolled the animal hand handling the first time. Uh, so yeah, that's her. That's her role in this. Uh, in this session. She's a taxi driver. She's You're driving. She's doing great, Diania. <laughs> <laughs> she's a bit tired. She, that's why she's only like handling the horse. True. She's tired of us. <laughs> she rather talk with the horse. The horse is the best friend now. <laughs> oh no. The horse. Can I talk to the horse? <laughs> uh, the you horse. Can most certainly try. You can talk at the horse. Yeah, you can talk <laughs> at the horse if you wish. 
Unless you have a spell or some innate magical ability to speak with said horse. I have the innate magical ability to speak. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but with animals? <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm. Oh, besides that, rain. Fucking annoying for some, maybe better. Uh, the path is muddy, but nevertheless, could be worse. Speaking worse, roll me another d10. Just to should, see. Should I? Should Okay. Seven. Seven. So! About Seven. about four hours since acquiring the cart and just basically um, muddling down the road with no um, any interactions from anything. The road is just empty. Uh, everybody, please roll me a perception check. Perception. One d twenty. The thing that I have a minus one on, right? What are my rolls? I'm being. This is. I'm being. I'm being trolled right now. I'm not blind. <laughs> <laughs> so. There it is. Blind. Recipitra. You are blind, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Recipitra. I don't think so. In real life, you are. <laughs> Recipitra, Valentine, and Euro. Uh, about a good hour and a half uh, going through this. Not well, going through this, but riding through the mud and the rain. You kind of just idling in the cart, minding your own business, looking around. You see no activities from the plains surrounding the massive road, nor the tree lines. Nothing is gawking at you or gazing at you. But then, all of a sudden, in front of you, you start to see at the beginning an odd track, then several, then several dozen. Seder tracks muddy the entire road ahead of you. What seems to be maybe 50, 60 sets of hoof prints. You don't know how old they are because they're all basically. Uh, small puddles for the rainwater, but it's a lot. It's quite a lot, a lot. But besides that little fact, four hours after acquiring the cart, uh, you start to see this small little trail down the road. Finally, some um, difference in altitude as you go slightly towards the small slope downwards, and you see uh, not a massive settlement. Valentine, you you know of Platus somewhat as second or third hand knowledge. It's a uh, it's basically a token settlement with 20 or so buildings, plain wooden wall, and uh, just basically a checkpoint for the road that it's the crossroads of. It's literally the most significant place, probably an entire region. Uh, give me a second. But, um, while it's pretty shoddy and simple, from the distance, you see life is a brewing as it should be. You can immediately spot hundreds of arrows sticking uh, to the outer walls, lining the walls perfectly. Um, you see rooftop up glittering arrows. Um, you don't see any fighting, you don't see any smoke, no burning. Just a lot of arrows. Um, this is this is maybe 500 feet away from the whole Selman. You see the 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 ma not massive but like 15 feet tall uh, walls and maybe 20 foot tall gate is secure and the gates are closed. But it's definitely quiet because of the rain. 
You don't know if there's any activity inside or it's been overrun, but looking at it from the outside, it looks there still. With my detective skills, I deduce that some fighting has taken place here. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how... I, I don't know where you get that from, you know. Would we... The arrows! So, me and Valentine are kind of from the area. Would we know... Like, is there anything valuable about Lattice? If you wanna... Or if you like... wanna try to see how much you know, truly... Uh, roll me a history check. Okay. Let's go! Damn. Uh, okay. So, you know the concept of the Emperor Roads, the big, the massive roads through the entire Empire, but the problem with these massive roads, in theory, is that you need to maintain them and secure them so there isn't just a wild track that goes for hundreds of miles and, I don't know, ambushes are being laid or bandits just waiting in ambush or some natural or natural predators uh, taking out uh, the ones that travel these roads. So a bunch of checkpoints or settlements have been set in the most crucial parts of these crossroads. Uh, Platus is one of them, but it's not vital. There are better roads nowadays that get you to specific places faster, and this is basically more like of a token settlement than anything. People live there, people work there, but last you recall, you don't even think there's more than 300 people in this. Mm. I guess we we'll just carry on unless we want to like try and think of a plan for like sneakily heading over. I don't think there's going to be anything in there. I think what I from what I can see, it doesn't look like there was any kind of actual raid that occurred. It looks like whatever's doing this is coming by, showering the town with arrows, and then leaving. That seems like so, a good approach at this. I would at least uh, fucking put the arrows on fire if I were them. <laughs> I said fucking. Well. I don't think they're here to destroy the village. I think they're just here I to terrorize the people. I picked it up from a few of the soldiers. Do you like the word? Watch um. your language. <laughs> yeah. The How would I do that? Look, I can't well. see my language. Boy. <laughs> Just, just leave it. Just, just make her believe that she's right. <laughs> so there's like hundreds of arrows in the wall, right? Yes. You, you probably think maybe there's more than hundreds, but you can see just tiny, half-inch thick sticks just sticking out of these massive wooden uh, palisades. So. Are there like hundreds of satyrs then? What did this? No, mean? there's no signs of anything outside the walls. Oh, no, no, I just mean like in general. Like, do you think there's it's like possible. Oh, lots of satyrs, or do you think they were just at it for ages? Maybe they have very fast firing bows. Yeah, they could yeah. be, they could have high fire rate. <laughs> Machine gun bows. <laughs> well, Real. let's go inside and see how many people are still alive. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Well, how long does it take us to get close? Uh, to cast... Oh, on the cart, about a minute or so. As okay, you're... I'm gonna cast armor back at this. Mm -hmm. As you're making your way down the slope and basically by the gate, the the rain is loud. You can barely hear anything besides the rain. Uh, looking at this gate, it's riddled. Like, Valentine, you think if if these arrows are certain enough, you can just climb on these arrows to get over the wall. Um, okay, they are really sturdy. As um, 
for the gate. You're looking upwards. Nobody seems to be greeting you. No one is peeking over. And of course, the gate itself is closed. Hmm. I look around. I look around for a way to, um, I guess, ring the doorbell, as it were. I don't. I don't know enough about medieval uh, architecture to know. Well, how that was usually, done. usually on. yelling helps. Should we? Well, yell? it's too loud. Like, it's it's raining. Like True. Can, can, can you can you guys can you guys look after my stuff for a moment and just everything as if it was carrying like planks on the floor. Well. <laughs> and she uh, starts oozing underneath the door and uh, tries to get in there by oozing through it. Yeah, you, there's, there's plenty of small press because this is not a seal tight uh, gate. There's, you know, inches and half beats of uh, cracks that you can get through. So you just all see just there's a fitter just go into the gate. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> I could fly. You could fly. I could. Do I want to though? <laughs> so uh, do I? Do I see any way to open it from the other side? So as you get, as you go to the other side, you see immediately there are people walking. There are uh, men walking with uh, crossbows in hand, uh, massive, um, almost like just pallets of woods. But do you realize that they're just massive? tower shields on their backs, uh, trigger at ready, uh, patrolling the streets. You look at the, like, behind you, towards the gate and the pal sides, you see that there are people, uh, there. They're just sitting against, uh, against the tops of the walls, but not peeking. Uh, can you roll with just an insight? Yes. Give me a second. Ooh, 16. Uh, also, yeah, basically. Um, as you see at their uh, worn faces, some as young as maybe 18, some as old as 40 or maybe 50, mostly human, you see a few elves, um, they seem to be just exhausted. Whatever has happened here has been go going on for several hours, and probably also purposely laying low so nobody would just hit them out of from the outside as nobody seemed to actually notice that you just kind of manifested uh, in in front of their gate like within... I was gonna say like if they just attacked Cindy no everybody seems to be preoccupied at the point that nobody sees at the most obvious spot is a blind spot. <laughs> yeah. Do I see anyone that seems to be like responsible for the door or like any mechanism to open it? Uh you oh my God, he's just gonna unlock it. You, you is there not some is there not like a gate guard or something? Uh, uh, uh for for Risa Fisher, you see several like above you by the gate on the on the passage, which is these walking boards to get from one side of the wall to another that are maybe Three, four feet uh, from the very peak of the gate, so there's cover. You see several people, uh, either either extreme tired, just staring directly towards the center of this settlement, completely just avoiding your you, or maybe just asleep and with their open eyes, or maybe just dead. Um, you see several people by the gate, but none of them seem to be responsive. As in, looking at you and like, huh, what is this? Uh, but as for, as for, um, opening the door, you see that there is a massive, you assume maybe six or seven foot long wooden pole, uh, just barring the gate. Several of those. 
Uh, looking quite heavy. Well, here goes nothing. Hello, oh, no. my name is Red Sophidra. Could you let my friends inside? Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Oh no. Can, I, can you just roll me a perception check with disadvantage? With disadvantage? Yes, with disadvantage. Persuasion. Persuasion, I'm sorry. I always mix those up. Uh, okay. I also, I also, I'm just gonna roll d20. Ooh. Oh, thank. Oh. <laughs> oh. I saw the 20 and I was like, yes! We're not gonna die! <laughs> so! Uh, it's the wrong 20. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> so. I assume you're just looking at the people that are like above you, like looking anywhere but below where you are, and you're just like, hey! So, exactly that. Valentine, Hero, Faren, from your perspective, you just hear a very mumble, very cheerful, Hey, my name is Rasen Petra! And then you just hear, Ah! <laughs> As somewhere above, uh, above you on the top of the gate, you just hear several sh shouting and just loud screaming for several good seconds. Uh, as <laughs> Resident Evil, you see, you see this guy, like uh, you assume is an elf, maybe in his thirties, but it looks all of a sudden looks at you and starts screaming, panicking, uh, holding its crossbow, but trying to like aim at you, but doesn't know which side of the crossbow is which. While the other two that are basically slumped beside him start to scream just for the sake of screaming. Um, uh, as all of a sudden, the screaming all of a sudden stops. And the elf just stares at you, finally, after good eight or nine seconds, managing the crossbow, just fucking points at you and says, Who? What are you? Uh, I, I wave at him and I'm like, I'm Red Sofitra. Uh, uh-huh, uh, Red Sofitra, what are you and what do you want? Uh, I'm... And she, like, uh, looks at her body. Oh, I, I think I left my papers outside. If you could, you know, <laughs> let, let my friends and I can show you my papers. Uh, your what? what? Friends? Uh, got yeah. it. And then all of a sudden... Uh, Valentine, from your perspective, you hear mumbling, and then from from the top of the gate, you see a one uh, cow figure's head pops out as it kind of removes the cow and just stares at you. Uh, oh, uh, uh, and then looks back at uh, the people who are basically waking up from their stupor and just kind of shakes them awake. Get up, we gotta let them in quickly, as um, a few. A good minute pass until the free by the gate uh, make their way downwards to you, Recipitra, and starts to uplift these massive hunks of wood. And Valentine, a good two minutes. Why, why, hmm? why, why are we starting to lift them up? I want to uh, walk back uh, like through the door while it's still closed, reabsorb my pile, and uh, wait to go with the party to be let in. <laughs> Yeah, so about about two minutes in for Reciprocal going, she comes back, and then half a minute more passes as you hear these massive wooden chunks uh, getting lifted from the door, and then the door uh, tiredly creaks open and lets you in. As the elf, who looks most awake, but also probably most need of sleep. Looks at all of you and says, "This all is this the reinforcements we get? Reinforcements? No, we're simply we're travelers, travelers passing through. We heard that you had some problems and thought that we could investigate. Uh, uh, how, how are they faring? Did they make it to Eek? Where are they? they are I would not know out. anything about that." <laughs> I mean, oh, we, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> no, wait. Wait. <laughs> no, I, 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 I seem to have erred. I believe we are in their wagon. You see. You oh. See, oh. 
Oh. You see, hmm. you see the the somewhat optimism on the elf's face. He view turns to grimace and sudden fear. Oh, where where are they? What what did you do to them? I think they're dead. No 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 no. We we didn't do anything. We found you the car. Think. We found the car. Um. And we found some people uh, killed. We believe the satyrs were upon them in the night. Serious step. So, all of a sudden, in the distance, you see there is a commotion, maybe a few hundred feet away from the gate, as you see several people are pointing uh, at you, and not, not not like in hushed tones, but like speaking loudly. And you see this one individual, very well dressed in terms of armor, uh, quite stylish, if you will. Uh, he has a drip. Uh, yeah, he has he has the drip TM. Um, uh, <laughs> it looks very this, dripped out. Not with, gonna lie. <laughs> with uh, with a nice Golden full helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, carrying carrying quite a quite a decent uh, axe. He all of a sudden just starts walking uh, towards all of you. As um, approaching about twenty feet, he kind of. Gets the axe on his shoulder and says, I believe I know this cart. I believe I sent him towards Eek and then towards the crossroads. Where are Found the people? And what of the crew? What of the seven people I sent? Uh, Wait, someone someone remind me. Well, we... here's the thing. You found this horse uh, with the cart basically in the tree line. Uh, the Duckley figured out that it came from the road, followed the tracks, and found seven dead individual individuals uh, punctured, slashed, and arrowed to death. Dead in their own blood and rainwater. Yeah. And relay yeah. that information to the man. Yeah. Roll me a persuasion check. Ooh. Persuasion. Oh, wait. Do you want me to do it? I have higher persuasion. I also have higher persuasion. If he doesn't persuasion. believe me, we can always go show am, him the bodies. Am, am I allowed to help with, like, uh, a telling oh. of my great deeds uh, that I did to roll, the One of you can roll with advantage. One of you can roll with advantage. <laughs> so do he is dripped out. I like it. cool on that. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna try to convince him. Okay. I got plus zero to my shit. I've got plus four. I got plus three, so Faren? Okay. Roll with advantage. Don't fail me. <laughs> uh, so 17. 17, okay. He kind of looks at all of you, still kind of eyeing you. Doesn't say anything. You're wet, it's raining, let's please. Fine, get in. What I'm gonna Thank do, you. send you back. Thank you. Uh, as he as he kinda whistles for the men to basically let you in, but also immediately barricade the door behind you. Uh, he kinda walks by you, Valentine, as uh he kind of eyes you up and down, seeing you also decked out in armor. So, wait, he's looking at Farid and not at not at Val. No, he's Do looking at Valentine. Do we want to compare the thickness of armor over here? <laughs> he kind of eyes you for a bit and then asks, oh, uh, "Simply, so, welcome to my uh, humble abode. We're currently suffering a bit of a siege." What business you have here? Besides, of course, bringing a lost carriage without any bodies. Oh, you wanted the bodies? Yeah, I didn't think you'd want those. Oh. But we were simply passing through. We have business elsewhere and heard that your town was having problems and uh, thought, out, hey, out we were on our way. Uh, out of character question, Eric. Oh. Did I, I, I think I ate one of them, right? Did oh, I? God. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, technically you said you were full at that 
point, so right, you didn't. Right. Okay. You, you, Wait, ate, you, you ate. You ate. You ate the elf. Thing. You ate the elf. That was. Uh, right, no, no, no one cares about that, guys. Wait, uh, Stinty, when you I dropped all of your offer. stuff to go under the door, did you drop the half digested body just out, out our feet? Maybe a few parts of a skeleton. Why? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, as um, you kind of. Kinda looks at you. Better gobble them up real quick. Yeah, and <laughs> well, the, the man just kind of stares at you and says, um, "So how did you find out that we need help? Even though you said you found dead people." We found this great message. Yeah, I'm so happy about it. He kind of he kind of looks at the at the plasma and holding the piece of paper. He doesn't even look at it for more than a second, and just sighs. Yeah, I guess that checks out. So where are you heading? North, south, west? Well, you came Definitely from the... not here, but we're here. We're heading yeah. down to Ash Baskets. <sighs> what's going, what, what's happening here? Why are you under siege? <laughs> he kind of, he kind of, he kind of shrugs. How the fuck should I know? The fucking Fae are at it again. Who he... sieges the city only with arrows? That doesn't seem like something to tell on walls. Well, that's the benefit of the fucking satyrs. They're fucking stupid. They just use wood. <laughs> the main problem is that they're that's fucking... Hydra, like, uh, lots that is like, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least the good, good thing is that they know, don't know how to fucking use fire. But the bad thing is that they're fucking fast, and when they start to attack, well, those who are outside are basically dead. Um, Very good thing we're not outside. Uh, well, he kind of looks at the car and the wagon. I guess you can have it. We don't really need more wagons nor horses. Kind of really don't know where they acquired that. They said they knew a friend. Nevertheless, uh, welcome to Platus, I suppose. Uh, enjoy your stay. If you need an inn uh, or a tavern or a bar or uh, a place to drink your problems away, there's the angry treant. But besides that, uh, if you're here for some cedar hunting, I would say this is the proper season for it. I prize this. Ooh. How does Hades taste? <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't ignore her. Fucking okay? disgusting! Oh. Believe me, like, I tried how do you it. Know? I tried it. I'm curious about it too. Why? <laughs> what do you mean why? You know, what do you mean why? It's just what? a goat that stands on two legs. <laughs> You've never eaten goat. Oh. I, I suppose, but that, I'm, I, I'm just silent. Uh, anyway, uh, if you wish to hunt the satyrs here, uh, do as you will. If you get caught, nobody's gonna go out and save you. But for a pair of hooves, you get three gold pieces. So, if you're into hunting, this is the spot for satyr hunting. Besides that, oh, you... off, we've, we've been wondering how many are there. Uh, last I was told about 70 in a single place at a single time. Those fuckers ran around oh, yeah. in circles in the, off the settlement for 47 or 57 minutes. Just shooting arrows, quiver after quiver. He kind of looks at the, he kind of looks above and just kind of points at the roofs that you see this decked out with dozens, some even hundreds of arrows. They literally did absolutely nothing to the settlement except for some redecoration. Fucking idiots. Mm. Do, do you say to you normally behave like this? Or is... Not really. But usually they're pretty calm and relaxed. You get one or two occasionally, but they usually stay in the tree lines far far away from us which that's the way how I, I like it personally 
Uh, but then, in the past fucking week or so, all of a sudden, all the uproar. Sightings of dozens, and now this. So there must be, like, some something causing this then, no? Maybe. Now my problem. I'm here to defend this place. I got everything at lockdown. And if something comes here that is not human, they're gonna get shot between their eyes. Simple as. Nice. It's a feature that looks mean... uh, like very obviously at half of the party and seems to be thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh yeah, don't don't kill the non-humans in my party. Oh, like he does it. love us. Oh. Oh, don't don't don't. Oh, I I listen. I seen theaters that are kind of right. Some pass by, but these are just stupid, right? Hmm. He kind of he kind of like looks at back at all of you. So yeah. Maybe. It, Maybe they want attention. Maybe they got hypnotized or some shit. Or maybe the Fey are just simply evil at their core and must be destroyed for the good of humanity. I... Valentine, the man points at you. <laughs> stares at you for a second. I like you. <laughs> but nevertheless, do as you wish. There's literally jack all to do except drinking or killing. Well, it sounds like you guys don't really have a long-term solution for this problem. Well, I mean... Right, how are you going to get supplies? Oh, supplies... Well, we have about a month's worth of supplies. Additionally, uh, we will get a message from uh, Calnus in about six or seven days. We'll tell them that we're in trouble if we still are, and then they're gonna send the cavalry and basically scorch the surrounding forests. But they, but the last messengers got killed on the way here. What messenger? Well, on the way out. Oh, those. Well, well, yeah, we tried to do it a bit practically. Maybe you know, find some help because they volunteered. They were. Young and you know, oh, we wanna, we wanna be adventurous. We wanna do that and see, see how they ended up fucking dead somewhere. Um, yeah, imagine wanting to be an adventurer, huh? Losers. Or being young. Wait, how old is Rest of Victor? I'm seven years. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. You're a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm not pretty sure you're a baby. This, uh, and she, like, uh, pulls out a poisonous mushroom and makes it glow. Oh, <laughs> no, but now I know a baby that can. But yeah, the man, the man in armor just kind of waves his hand away and says, Well, I'm off to make sure everything is fine within and without. You all... Don't cause any trouble, and if you want to go somewhere, tell the guard that I let them out, let you out, whatever. I'm tired. And I'll proceed just walk okay, away casually. So, yeah. As he walks away, Rats of Petra is like, I once shot an arrow at someone to get attention. <laughs> no, you yes, do you not. Did. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh. Oh, my, right, no, you did. My face just like goes pale. <laughs> <laughs> Out of memory. <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, you see that uh, Platus is, well, it's fucking raining. Uh, it's basically one single uh, road that is 80 feet long of dirt going one, like, from east to west. And then you see this one made of stone that heads from north to south. Uh, in the crossroads they meet, and in the crossroads, the the corners, there are the buildings set up. And you count like 30, 40 buildings. You can immediately spot the biggest building uh, that is, you assume, the uh, some sort of barracks or, or a 
fort within the palisade where uh, the, the man you just talked to goes to. Uh, and of course you immediately see the angry treant as there is a massive sign that is carved into a tree that is on top of a building. And uh, yeah, you're you're not told anything to do or anything else. Everybody's minding their own business, basically making sure that there is no other attack. What is everybody doing? Do we want to try and help this place out or do you guys want to just carry on? I am still curious what the cider tastes like, even if he says that they don't taste so very nice. I'm sure we'll find out. Also, somewhere yeah. somewhere around this point, it's about 5-ish p.m. So, we should rest here for the night? Yeah. Get up early in the morning? And then move on, question mark? I mean, Do you I want think to help Faren them? would like to help, but if a party is wanting to continue, that's like... I'm okay with that. I don't mind either. Well, uh... I mean, there has to be something going on for them to be attacking, no? Detective Prasafitra still wants to solve this case. Yeah. Alright, then we'll stay for the night, but... It doesn't seem like they're too interested in getting this solved themselves. They're just dealing with it. Yeah. That is true. Also, he said that we get gold for hooves. And since hooves are not as tasty as gold, I'm a big fan of this proposal. Wait, have you how do you know how to hoof Yeah, but you haven't eaten a satyr before. I've eaten other things with hooves. True. Yeah, maybe different their hooves are different. Good point, I should try some. <laughs> <laughs> They're sentient souls, it makes all the difference. Mmm, <laughs> I love eating sentient souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> Why am I here? Just so. To so where are you heading? What you doing? To Vienna, I suppose, right? Unless we want to just sleep on the floor, like in the rain. <laughs> no. On the road. <laughs> we could sleep on the card. Well, they said they had an inn. Yeah. They have, they have an inn. <laughs> yeah, it's I know, cold. but I mean, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I was just joking. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So I assume you all head oh. towards the inn. The oh, yeah. is that? Is there a, like a church or a temple here? Um, uh, looking around, there's there's nothing that you can see unless you want to actively look out for one. Fun fact: a town without a church is called a hamlet. Hmm. Wait, isn't it like? It's a town, and then it's a city if it has a sh if it has a church, or am I? Okay, so here's how it goes: a hamlet okay. is a village without a church. A village has a church. A town has a charter from the king to build a market. So a town is a market, and towns oh. typically also have stone walls around it. And a city is a town with a cathedral. Oh, it's a cathedral, not a church. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> well. I'll just throw it back. And then a burr is a fortified settlement that typically has a royal mint in it. Mm. Oh, right, like Edinburgh. So, Edinburgh. Bruh. Edinburgh. <laughs> Bruh. Nice. So, to the end you go, I assume. Yeah, yeah. I like myself some rest. Oh, this is this is this is not going to be some rest yet. Give me a second. So, uh yeah, calm down, calm down, it's fine. Give me a second. So. Are you gonna get more wooden sticks? <laughs> oh, no. No. Give me a second. Oh, You're God. getting Give... raided. No, 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 no. So. As. Hey, 
they don't learn to use fire, I'm not worried. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so the thing about this is, uh, you go into the the, the angry tree, and which um, at first you thought from the outside how it looks, it would be just um, a single building, you know, made of wood with stone foundations, but then you realize it's actually just a carved out tree with some foundations from the outside. Uh, which is kind of odd. You see about 20 or so people, all similar, similarly clothed as the person you just talked to. Uh, wet uh, weapons by their hand, mainly drinking either talking between each other or uh, just drinking alone. You see several tables are available and you see this uh, half-orc is tending to the kegs as he seems to be checking if it's ran out. Uriel! <laughs> you all of a sudden feel a warmth within you. As all of a sudden you just have this hot surge in your body. As you look at your lantern and there's sparks of bluish flame. Puncha, puncha, let's go. That's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, technically no. Technically no. <laughs> technically, <laughs> is, technically it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh. So Petra looks at the lantern and is like, it's blue like me. <laughs> It, it, it look, you know how you try to get a lighter going and it just sparks? Similar with the slanter, it starts to ignite itself, but it fails. And it tries over and then stops and then again and stops. I so think I'm... it got wet in the rain. Maybe you should dry it. No, I don't think that's a problem here. <laughs> I think I'm just um, kind of close. Not close, but... Somewhat the area where it should be. Hmm. Mm. But yeah, uh, the half orc that seems to be in his fifties or forties, uh, bald, has this long as grayish beard that is like two feet long. Looks at all oh of God. you, just stares at all of you, and says nothing. Hello, I'm Red Sofitra. <laughs> hmm. I, got got I guess, any? I just like wave at him a small wave, just cause she did that. Got any gold for the drink? Cause otherwise I'm not doing any taps. Oh, the, oh, he's the oh. barkeeper. Oh, I, I, I have gold. Good. How many of you are? Five. Yeah, there, there are five of us. I won't be drinking tonight. Okay. Same. Any commendations upstairs or just drinking? Uh, we'll need a place food? to stay for the night. Okay. Yeah. You want food with that or no? I want food. I I'd like food. We yeah, have enough food. But hot food. You can never have enough food. Okay. Fine. Okay. He, he kind of. You see. You see. While he's uh, staring you down, you see his right hand just kind of moving. Uh, below, uh, below the counter, as he kind of pauses for a second with the hand and says, eight gold pieces. Which one of you is paying up front only? Eight gold pieces for everything. Yes. Uh, like for every person or per person? For everything. Oh, isn't, isn't that quite expensive? It is. It is, is, but also times are tough. Uh, well, if you understand that times are tough, then you must understand that I do only have five gold pieces on me. Roll me persuasion. It's no deception. I swear we have more money than that. Or deception. Yeah, yeah. I'm lying. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. going to say. I was like, Pedro gives. It gives our best to uh, let the gold inside of her float inside of the armor once it's <laughs> as clearly visible. <laughs> he kind of looks at you, Valentine, who wields 
not wield, but just has a silver helmet. And just kind yeah, of scoffs. Like shit. <laughs> Clearly, there's five of you. We can muster eight gold pieces. Alright, I, I, put, I put five gold pieces on the table. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sigma male. He, he waits He waits for um, all of you else. So I was going to put in the three final ones. Uh, I'll put in the three final ones. Oh, uh, yeah. I could do that too, though. But... I mean, they, they need the gold. I feel like Farron would be the sword. Hmm. He kind of looks at the gold, scoots it, pockets it. Okay, pick a table, whatever table. Simple, simple stew, nothing fancy. I didn't expect anything fancy. <laughs> Good. It's a bit it's like, yeah, it doesn't look very fancy here. It, <laughs> it it honestly it does, honestly 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 it smells like rainfall of fall like it smells like rainwater and stale piss. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, you didn't have to tell me that. I told you because because everybody has a good enough nose to smell it. Um. I don't think I have a nose. Yeah, you Res don't care, man. Res you don't fucking Res care. Fidra, you can touch the smell. <laughs> True. Yeah. I'm not sure if that is better or worse. <laughs> you can taste the smell. Everybody, yeah. every everybody else has, you I know, can taste boots. The rainbow. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. But yeah, uh, your your uh, lantern, whatever you do, it just starts to s it just began to spark ever since you entered this. Uh, Tavern, just flicker, stop, flicker, stop. Like okay, we're now flicking, flickering. I mean, I have it in my hand. Oh right, so we, so we would notice. So we would notice. Uh -huh. Yeah, you you see, like my expression since then is pretty grim. Is is it supposed to do that? I want to touch the lantern. No, you do not want to touch the lantern. Don't fucking touch the lantern. I want to touch the lantern. Well, clearly it's ominous, so. Describe to us what it means. Okay, so basically, I got this lantern from a person. And this person told Sorry, me. Fast. I mean. I thought you were just going to say that and just leave it there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could. I got that from a person. Please stop. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, like. Since it light up, there's some shady things going around here. In in this I mean, end specifically. I mean, it light, light up when we. I mean, what? Shut up. I mean, when we <laughs> entered the inn, it started to flicker. So I'm pretty sure it's near here. Maybe underground. I don't know. I need to right. investigate that. As the Fitra would like to squeeze herself through the like boards in the floor. And see if she can get anywhere. Uh, well, you find several floorboards that have enough for you, basically, uh, under the table, and you squeeze in, and you get maybe a foot in, and it's basically wood. It's like overgrown, like overgrown on top, on top, on top of each other, uh, just sparks. There doesn't seem to be anything underground. Are trees, like, in, in this world, like, normally, or, like, commonly of this size, or is it, like, unusually? Uh, it's a tricky question. Uh, just roll me a history check. Uh, okay. Well... This is this is a tree that this is a tree that was big enough that somebody sculpted the tavern out of, uh, which is unusual. Usually trees are normal, but they're also literal cities that are made of single tree somewhere up north where the druids lie. Also, the biggest tree. Well, in the there is 
Yeah, and the biggest tree in the world is about ten and a half miles long, so... How, how oh big God. were the trees that I used to live in between? Uh, in you, you would say not common, but you've probably seen a lot bigger trees, like wider. But of course, when they were trees, they were, you know, several hundred feet tall and, you know, mm -hmm. 40, 50 feet wide. Well, this is like maybe 60 feet wide tops. And okay, about... so nothing weird going on here. Yeah, nothing. Everything's no... fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. I. Wait, let me. I look to Farron and I ask, "You have divine sense, right?" Yeah. Yes, I can sense. I can sense things. Wow. <laughs> what? What a sentence. So. Uh... Hmm? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. I stopped you. Give... Oh, I guess. I so... would. Uh, yeah. I would like you to accompany me then. Oh, yeah. okay. I wanna come with. Yeah, I'm very curious about this. I'll come as well. Emoji. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I'm following. I have no then. idea. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I will probably be sneaky, sneaky, and I don't think you can be very sneaky, sneaky with your armor. I can be so sneaky. Why do we need to sneak? Wait, what? Ah. Uh... <laughs> okay, this is a long story. About myself, that is kind of dark. Alright, give me the, uh... Um, time. Imagine I'm a drunk. Give me the drunk version. Uh, <laughs> basically, a goddess uh, of the moon uh, saved me of a secret sect. And using her for sacrificing people for no reason, and she doesn't want that. So I'm on the mission to, pre like, to just, you know, stop. stop that, yeah. Yeah. I've thought about God. <laughs> oh, you, yes. you thought about that? You've thought about a God before? Uh, um, my parent taught me about God. I, I did. Good. Because her I'm name not... is being, getting used for slaughter and... She's pretty unhappy for because of that, you know. She gave me that lantern. And she told me if it lights up, I'm near to a place where this is actually a thing. Oh my god! Well, these small towns are, yeah. In, in my experience, these small towns always have one of two kinds of problems: rampant prostitution or cults. <laughs> or both at the same um... time in one. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh man! I'm just like looking at the floor. I am. So I'm I'm not leaving this place until I have this figured out. That's fine by me. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, I mean, I'm if curious. you said there's something not bad happening, we should definitely. So what? Yeah. What, what, yeah. yeah they, they sacrifice people for fortune. So. Oh. oh. Does it work? Obviously not! <laughs> it, it doesn't matter if it works. Kind of. God, the goddess herself, like, told me she's not agreeing with this and doesn't want her name to be drowned in blood of innocent people. Wait, so how did it happen? How did people... Yeah, how did this start? I guess that doesn't matter. I, yeah. I don't know myself. I got born into the sect. I was a sacrifice myself. Oh no. That seems like it would take a needlessly long amount of time. I don't know how quickly do um, ASMR age. What well, what age would, would? Okay, this is out of character. What age? <laughs> what what age would? What age would you be sacrificed at? So what is the standard Depends age? Depends on what you're being sacrificed for, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it depends. Children getting slaughtered, like, for, uh, 
Because they're like very pure souls. It's like for purifying like sins. Or, or just Others in general. Let's wait until they are like teenagers because they. Uh... Well, I will just uh, point at what Valentine said earlier. And we'll be happy with that. Oh no. Hmm. Either way, I'm not sure for what I would have been sacrificed for, but I survived somehow. I'm glad you survived. Yeah, uh, I almost was like blind on an eye, but now it's shiny. Ooh, shiny. Don't shiny. eat my eye. <laughs> I need that to, like, you know, see. <laughs> well, I, for one, makes sense. would very much like to go find this cult of yours. And join it. <laughs> for, Not uh, to especially... join it. <laughs> especially since I'm... Especially I was very, like, treasured because I'm an Asima. Mm. Can you arrange a meeting of your god? I wanna meet them. I don't think that's that easy! Yeah, I don't think that's I how that just... works. I don't- I didn't decide to meet her, she just, you know, I don't know, I- I, I got teleported or some shit. Another hand touches mm. the beacon. <laughs> oh no! Oh no. What I know about cults is that where there's a cult, there's a cult leader. Where there's a cult leader, there's somebody hoarding a large amount of gold for themselves. So. God? And I want it. I also <laughs> want it. Either way. I would investigate this ta uh, this tavern first because it started to light up here, but then I was would also go around the town. I I think I would start going around the town. And later, and then if I don't find another clue and it's not lighting up, I would like to go, like investigate the tavern in whatever more, go around it. So, how's how's everybody um, gonna? I guess are you gonna just all follow Ural? Is Ural just gonna go out, just like looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely gonna follow. So you need to make sure they don't think that you're uh, that you're uh, onto them. Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think they would. As mm -hmm. much as I know, I don't have a mark to like tell them that I was a sacrifice or part of that thing. Yeah, At but if, they, if we. It are very obviously looking for little hideaways and whatnot, somebody might see that. So we gotta be sneaky about it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say! Okay. I imagine canonically this is how you all speak to everyone once in a while, just shouting. <laughs> just... <laughs> Let's just say, this conversation is not... It's less of a private conversation, it's more of a to whom it may concern. <laughs> the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I would sneak would around the town. Like an email header. All right, so we're sneaking around the town looking for clues. Yes. Well, I mean, no one would look at us weirdly. Look yeah. I, I mean, no one would look at us weirdly if we just walk around the town and like look around. No one ever know? looks at me weirdly. No, I think everyone looks at you weirdly. <laughs> 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 Which is gonna be very nonchalant with this little slime person that will wait and says, Hey, my name is Sifitra. We're hunting for secrets. Yes, disclaimer, uh, uh, Sifitra. Don't greet random people for now. I don't know. I think it's I think it's been working out. Anyway, um, so roll me an investigation check, Uriel, because this is what you do. Uh, I guess everybody A thought does. occurs. Huh? A thought occurs. Uh, it's getting late, and this may be a thing that occurs well into the night, so Valentine's going to take a power nap. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, also... Oh, Jesus Christ. Fair. Yeah, yeah so investi <laughs> in investigation, but also, um, you realize something, you real? You know, in the tavern, the your lantern sparks, you know, just like a lighter tries to, I guess, get yeah. slightly ablaze. Once you walk out of it, it, the flame gone. Any attempt to light up, just nope. Like there's nothing. Yeah. So, so I can be pretty sure that it is in a tavern. Yes. In whatever. Okay, I walk back in. 
<laughs> you walk out for a few seconds, you, the light has gone out, you walk back in. Hmm. And it's such a spark again, right? Yep. Okay. I walk back to my comrades. <laughs> uh, can I use my divine sense? Sure. Okay. So what do I? Yeah. yeah. What do so, I send? What's what, what's the range? First of all. Oh wait. Uh, I think thirty or sixty feet. I'm not sure anymore. That, that's the difference. That's the difference, isn't it? Within sixty feet. Nice. I can send a type and location if it's not behind total cover. Well, what she sends, of course, there's nothing of any aspect of X except for Celestial uh, on Ural, uh, yeah. specifically the lantern itself, and something 30 feet below you. Aha! <laughs> oh, what's the nature of that? Celestial. Wait, the, the thing below us is also Celestial? Yeah, something pretty feet below you. Yeah, something something small. You assume a size of a coin, no bigger than an apple. Um, I'll uh... go to the party. I'm I'm very confused. Um, so th there's something celestial here, thirty feet b below us. But I thought I thought we were looking as... looking for a cult. As we are talking, they are. Uh... Talking to a pile of uh, Red Sophitra's belongings as she is currently scuttling like uh, across the ground of a tavern without it. Looking okay. for clues. <laughs> um, oh my god, she's a gremlin. <laughs> so, you realize that the four boards are basically set up so people don't like fall, or not fall, but more like wobble through the bark that is growing underneath it. It's nicely placed and it's basically a platform on top of this uh, wooden floor. Going crack by crack, niche by niche, trying to just explore and see if you can find anything. All of a sudden, as you're like prodding this bark, you find this like tiny little stream of uh, just a tiny little stream of air that you poke yourself into and just start to go even further down. Um, now question, are you just gonna go full down or are you gonna tell your findings? I, I would like to squeeze my head through it and look what's underneath while the rest of me remains uh, above. Uh, looking below, you see a very simple uh stone interior this uh dark stone quite cold several lanterns uh, are very dim lights lit up and you see a handful of uh, massive barrels and casts of what you see more alcohol and you see what seems to be a a cellar? Do I uh, see the intended way of getting down there? Uh, looking around, you see a door that uh, seems to just have a basic lock. Made of wood, except for the lock part that's made of metal. Uh, it's closed, you don't know if it's uh, locked or not. Do I like have any idea where it leads? Like, do I know that it leads to like a door in the tavern or? Uh, roll me intelligence check. She ain't intelligent enough. <laughs> Don't forget, before you actually start going down into places, you gotta go get Valentine. Um, no, you you would really not know because this is. This is just a weird, like, this this room gives you a different, completely different vibe to what you see in above. Like, everything above is wooden and warm. This is cold and stony. Well, I, uh, I pull my head back out of that, like, one-inch hole. <laughs> uh-huh. 
And I uh, scuttle back to a party to help sort my items and uh, rejoin the conversation wherever it might be at this point. Um, yeah, uh, I repeat myself, I'm pretty sure it's a tavern. I don't know if Faerun told us if he's feeling something. Yeah, so... Should we be detecting celestial... Celestial stuff? Is that... I'm pretty sure yes. Sadly. They're still praying to a celestial god, so I'm pretty sure. But that's yeah. true. I, I I would have thought because they're not in accordance with their god's wishes, it would be. Yo, I found a way down. You found oh, a way that's down? A... Yeah. And I lead them to like the crack in the floor. <laughs> well, I mean, you, uh, you can only lead so much. Um. I, I don't think we can fit Recipitra. I think we fit. Oh, why yeah. not? <laughs> um, <laughs> because I'm not a slime. I, I, I'm not gonna fit. Yeah, same. She like looks at you and is like, Huh, you indeed are not a slime. <laughs> you want to turn into one? <laughs> no, I'm joking. There's also a door down there that goes somewhere in this direction, and she points like in the direction where the door goes to. Yeah, it seems to be hey, like what? it seems to be going outside the tavern, uh, not the way you came from, but opposite. And looking at there, you see a handful of windows, a handful of tables, um, no door in that way. Hmm. I suppose we could send Re Rose's picture down there to go through the door and try and find the other side of it, but it might be... Detective Recipitra, turn into Special Agent Recipitra. <laughs> hey Recipitra, hear me out. Don't yes. talk to anybody. Be stealthy as possible. If you find a way we, how we can get down there, you get, you get back immediately. Okay. This is for your safety and for gold. Gold! <laughs> no, way. <laughs> no way you have to clarify that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Recipitra's going on an adventure. So Recipitra, I see you going make down sure, again. Make sure, to, uh, make sure to keep my stuff for me. Okay. And uh, metaphorical pile of garbage in front of you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. So, making your way again, slippery, slippery, into... I I see you drop into the basement, into the cellar. Yes. Yeah, so, it's cold. It's quite unnaturally cold. Uh, you see two lanterns casually just Swinging, not swinging, but just, you know, lit up. Um, you count in total eight barrels, like medium size. Uh, two massive ones that are basically by the wall. And you go into, by the door, and just kind of try to open it. It opens up wide. And you see that there is maybe ten feet ahead of you of... Uh, a corridor and you see all of a sudden a single simple uh what's it called fuck a ladder that seems to be heading somewhere upwards and you can immediately hear the rain pouring down where the ladder ends is there like anything else down in the cellar or just barrels no just barrels literally Hmm. I would like to uh, have a look at the barrels and. Uh, well, I mean, are you are you gonna, are you gonna try to open them or just because you you tap them, you know, you, you see if they're empty or not, and if you hear that they're full. 
Are they like uh, sealed airtight? Uh, they're yeah, they're sealed tight. And looking to the side, you read uh, in common. It's written common and dwarvish. Uh, Rod's Brewery on all the smaller barrels. Mm -hmm. Are there bigger barrels? Uh, bigger barrels uh, seem to be a lot older, uh, also full, but have nothing written. Oh. There's no one to greet. So, not greeting anyone isn't hard. And... Steffi, right. Uh, right, so Fitra, like, uh, presses to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one. And, uh, <laughs> and, like, scatters along the wall. <laughs> um, and, yeah, then checks out the ladder. Yep, um, it's a simple, very plain wooden ladder. Um, that is about 15 feet tall and it seems to be a wooden lid at the top and you can see smell and hear the rain just kind of slightly pouring in I would like to try and uh, ooze out of the hatch well you don't even need to try to ooze out it as you kind of go to the top and try to just push it um, the the wooden platform is maybe a bit heavy, but it easily slings to the side as you kind of open it up. And you see you're outside of the tavern, uh, maybe six, seven feet uh, from opposite side of where you entered. Uh, it's raining, it's pouring. I'm sorry, just... I guess, I guess the ambience of the tavern is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still. Yeah, you find your way out. It's the... Yeah. Is the hedge, like, uh, hidden in any way? Or is uh, it just a hedge on the ground? It's it's a simple wooden hatch. And it's, it's less of a hatch. More like a barrel. Uh, just... Just uh, <laughs> a barrel lid. That is big enough to cover the hole. Hmm. Doesn't seem very secret. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, so Fitra circles uh, around back to the tavern and uh, dramatically opens the door, uh, which I imagine to be like the typical movie scene of yeah. the door gets slammed open and there's like lightning behind it yeah. and strong rain. Yeah, so you've been just chilling three minutes waiting for Risen Fitra. All of a sudden, a massive door just the door opens, slams open, and uh, you see Recipitra emerging victorious. Uh, of course, every single patron just kind of uh, stand at attention, lifting their eyes and looking at this and then immediately seeing the slime. Some confused why there's a slime. Recipitra so walks like to the rest of the party in a straight line while uh, being like, I'm not greeting any of you, I'm being stealthy. <laughs> Ural good. just face palms <laughs> and it's like, okay, so I suppose the entrance is outside. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then. Yeah, uh, she takes, like, a pile of stuff with her again. Uh, no, 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 before we head out, uh, the half-orc just kind of, uh, goes by a nearby table to just ask to, if they want more ale, and just kind of overhears you. Recipient just turns at all of you and says, Were you in my basement? No, I was being sneaky. Uh, I punch! I legit punch! <laughs> Recifitra! <laughs> oh no... No, she just got drunk and sickered through the, through, the, through the floor. She didn't find a way out. So I suppose she was in your... in your basement. That's happened sometimes if she's drunk! 
Uh -huh. I love drinking. Uh, so see, slime, so she yeah, so like, so you no, know, he the half will just kind of listens intently, and you see fear in his eyes kind of raise up. So you're telling me she didn't went to my basement, but she just got to where my basement is, got back here, but definitely not in my basement. No, no, I was saying she was not there because she wanted to. It's it's happened because she just sickered through the floor. She just liquefied for some reason. Okay. I mean, if we if we can't just pick her up. I, I, I you could try. I don't want to try and don't go there. That is kind of my place. We uh, uh, we sincerely really apologize for that. Huh? We sincerely apologize for that. We Good. try to uh, not give her any more of any alcohol substance when we're here. Good. So that means she shouldn't go there because it's fucking filled with alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, I sincerely apologize. We would have stopped her if we could, but, you know, like, liquid and get, yeah. Hmm. The half orc just kind of looks at all of you and then walks back behind the bar. Still eyeing you. Uh, do I see something, so, I don't know, like a symbol on his skin or something, a tattoo or some shit? Uh... That could resemble the thing I'm searching for? Uh, well, you see in his, uh, left, uh, palm there is what seems to be, uh, a compass that uh, shows north, east, west, and south on his right palm. Uh, besides that, no other tattoos can be seen. And he's not, he's not like, hiding it. It's pretty... Uh... Okay. Ooh. Okay, you, you're, you like... Yeah. Comes out a bit, sighs, and it's like, uh, like, more silently. Resifitra, please, I beg you. <laughs> Just shut up. Just shut up. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I like go a bit closer to my comrades and be like if it's like getting closed down everything we should like investigate a bit more. Maybe there's like a hidden door even further down. You mean maybe... underneath the basement? Yeah, maybe. Mm. We don't know. There are a lot of barrels. We could use the Divine Sense more to see if it's either in the room what we're searching for, or underneath it. I... Would I remember, like, roughly how deep underneath me it was? He said 30 feet. Yeah, he somewhere. Said 30. Yeah, about 30. So is that in the room, or is it in the basement, or is it lower? You don't know. You've never been to the basement. I mean... Exactly, that's what oh, I'm saying, like, let's I try know. out. Before we... Oh, we should, like, go... Cool. Uh, we should try to... Hmm... I don't have an invisibility spell. Uh... Fuck. I'm... I'm not very... sneaky. Okay, then... Resifitra and I... Uh, but we need to get down there. I think you should... Mm. So, how about... I go first. No, Resifitra goes first, because she's a liquid. She can, like, s I don't know, squeeze a jello eye in there and, like, look if someone is there. That makes sense. If no one is there, you can quickly go in there, use Divine Sense, and then get out just in case someone comes around, and then we can like re rethink what we like. What the, depending on how the divine sense goes, we can like think of what we're gonna do next. Uh, okay. Well, everybody's past perception, even Valentine's past perception. You know, the half orc is keeping an eye on you. Oh my god. 
Yeah, he sussed at us. You guys sussed him out. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to our room and just, like, rest for a bit. Okay. Okay. So, the room uh, to get to the second floor, it is also a, a ladder. And it's not even a room. It's basically a section of tree that has been carved out that has bedrolls uh bro yeah like there's no wall and we pay eight gold pieces for this wait so is there not any privacy there's no door yeah there's no there's there's no door there you're above like you're above maybe 15 feet above uh, everyone below you and there is um, just a bunch of bedrolls. You see, you see, um, as as the tree has basically expanded above you, you see on the sides where there's been hollowed out. Um, there are several people who are just asleep, also. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I suppose, wait, Baron grew up in a temple, so I guess he would be kind of used to that like, setup. Realistically speaking. If. So I'll just, like, head over and get ready to sleep, I guess. Yeah. Unless anyone else has, like, objections. Okay, so uh yeah we should rest a bit yeah we, we had like a rough way here okay so actually ironically enough uh even though valentine went to bed first he would not wake up first because we got some uh, elves in uh in our party so technically Farin. yeah Farin's an elf a half elf half elf well, half L, but he still takes half the time, right? Maybe. Maybe. Wait. Half L. Let me check. Wait, am I half L's. I don't think so. At least when I looked up for your things, ASI, I like age. No, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I was I was stupid. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Then I technically, technically, Valentine. You are the first one to wake up in the middle of the night and as you wake up for the first time ever you realize nothing has changed when it comes to ambience. You heard people drinking, you heard people speaking below you, you still do. It Does feels like a long rest. No, well, I assume for you, unless you Wait, so it's the middle of the night and everyone's still up. Yeah. You look down and you see you, you do you have no wall to like, you know, lock yourself in. You just see that there's a bunch of well I'll describe it already. There's like a bunch of bedrolls above where people sleep. You see that the bedrolls, some of them have like been taken and people are more asleep. Looking down, it's basically the same. Uh the half pork is still up uh up, but he's Sleep deprived, to say the very least. And Valentine, since you were the first to go to bed, you were the first one to wake up. Since all of you said to go to bed, would you ne never specify a short or long rest? So assume a long rest. Let's go. In that case, I shall roll for my elixir. Mm -hmm. Valentine. Please, invisibility, please, yeah. invisibility. Yeah, but you would be the first one. Literally, okay. Sa same, same ambience, same everything. All right. Well, then I would go down and I would look for uh, probably the innkeeper, and I would ask him what time it was. Uh, the innkeeper, who still uh, you imagine is the half orc, the one that you paid five gold to, that you had that eye to eye, um, says. It's been like 
seven hours since seven you got out. Here. Yeah, it's past. It's somewhere around midnight at the moment. Past it. They were supposed to wake me up after a short period of time, but I guess they all went to bed instead. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we wanted to wait till everything dies down, but it seems like it's a 24 hour thing. So, what about you? Why are you still up? I got work to do. I run this in. <laughs> you don't have anybody for the night shift? Like staff. Doesn't he have staff? Uh, as you saw, no. He just kind of rugs. Nah, everybody who's able, um, able, um, and it are basically rallied by the gates and basically take shifts. I had three you people. You look tired. I do look tired. I feel tired, but I'll manage. Good thing is, there were no satyr attacks. That at least I know. One good yeah, that's good at least, because, you know. We'd be very in danger of arrow fire from inside this building. <laughs> or, I mean, it's better than hearing that the satyrs decided to climb over the wall. That would be fucking oh, terrifying. Oh, please. What, 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 what's a satyr even going to do, right? They're just, they're, they're skinny goat men. Look at you. Look at you. I bet you could throw, I bet you could rip one in half. Maybe. But if there's now look, I don't think you'd be able to rip a satyr in half, though, if you're half dead from lack of sleep. You should find a way to get yourself some sleep. I mean, I could watch this place for night. There's nobody here. <laughs> you look around. There's like seven, eight people. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody here. Just kick them out. Roll me a perse persuasion check. Oh, I really, next character I make needs to be much higher persuasion. Yeah, yeah you, you, you talk a lot. You Ooh, need to hey. you put off your thinking, yeah? Pug! <laughs> so, he kind of, he kind of, he kind of looks at you. You see, you, see, you realize, even if you passive inside, he probably was awake for more than 20 or so hours. He is tired. Is he kind of, the tiredness kind of takes over for a second. He kind of closes his eyes, looks at everybody else. And then all of a sudden, with a shout of whistle, um, he, he just yells out, This man with the silver hat is going to take over for a bit. Um, and then he looks at you. I uh, hope you're a better a better barkeep than a fighter. And then he literally he literally there's uh, you realize there are like you know several barrels, and he literally opens one of the barrels, and you see that there is like this small tunnel, and he just goes into the tunnel, and you see on the other side of the tunnel there's like this yeah. room, um, that basically has been hollowed out. There's like a bed. A lantern, and he literally goes into the bed, and just passes out. <laughs> Better barkeep than a fighter. <laughs> okay, let me see how it is. So, uh, do we now like? Uh, like... Before, before you do anything, Valentine, what are you gonna do? Because technically, you're in charge of the angry tree. And... All right, I'm gonna pull out my whip. I'm gonna hold it about halfway, and I'm gonna crack it right in the air. And I'm gonna say. Inns closed. Everyone out. <laughs> isn't that, oh isn't that like the way to the like, If you've never, if you've never been, if you've never been near a whip crack, it it is very startling. I so so before you like you, as you start to do motion, there's a guy that just comes up. Can I get a one? Uh, <laughs> just you just whip. Uh, and everything goes silent for a second. As uh, you, you bell out that the inn is closed, there's a bit of mumbling, and then immediately either everybody finishes their drinks or just start walking out, um, leaving right. in, in like a minute or a half, leaving the inn just empty, and now there's silence. <laughs> you're, you're literally in half a minute from like 
kind of kind of nice to literally just wind <laughs> perfect now first things first I go behind the bar and I find the nicest alcohol and I just take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, investigation check. Um. Well, you find that there is assortment of wines and um, they they look better than the the basic. Uh, ale that they serve it has a bottle and a cork doesn't have a name but you see it's a red wine all right i take the red wine hope you're a better fighter than you are a beekeeper <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> all right i go upstairs to wake up the rest of my party yeah okay we Th wake up yeah you're all you're all technically have a long rest congratulations you're you're woke, oh, cool. You're woken up by she like red eye staring at you. <laughs> All right, get up. So I don't know what you guys were doing last night, but my incredible intuition led me to believe that you needed the orc to be gone. So he's gone. He's like underneath the inn sleeping. There's like a tunnel underneath the inn, and he just went in there and slept like a savage. Okay, I need you to. Keep an eye on him. I don't think he's going anywhere. Because I cracked gonna... a whip in the room and he didn't wake up. I'm just saying, just in case, so we don't get surprised. Because we're going outside of the inn, there's like an entrance to us, uh, to, uh, to a basement. And we're trying to figure out where the divine, like, the celestial thing is that favor uh, Oh, there, there's no way I'm staying behind to watch a sleeping orc while you guys go do cool stuff. <laughs> we will come back, I swear. I you just want uh, to You'll come back out. after everything's already been done. No, I swear. <laughs> Where's Dionea? Where's Dionea when I need her? We'll have da we'll have Dionea watch her uh, watch him. Right, yeah. Dionea? Yeah, of course. We'll all watch him. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> just she just goes, okay. And just stares. Okay, there. <laughs> it's solved. Let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, good news. Uh, it finished raining. Uh, and, of course, you see that there are people. Uh, of course, around you see the people who are stupering out of the tavern. Made it only like 50 feet and passed out on the first comfortable soil they found. Uh, of course, you see... Uh, there's uh, torches lit uh, by, I guess, the crucial points. We see people on the palisades either sleeping or idling, uh, looking outside the perimeter. A perimeter. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's. Nobody cares about you. And uh, question. Hmm? Uh, actually, I finish. I finish before I ask. It's actually fine. Uh. And yeah, basically, it's dead of night. Uh, you see, it's clouded. And there is a uh, half moon showing through the clouds. And just windy. There is absolutely just just kind of peaceful, actually. And yeah, Rosifitra, it's it literally takes less than half a minute to just go to the entrance, the pit, to the cellar. Which is literally just, you know around the corner okay does my lantern now like legit light up if you go, if you go down still sparks no if i'm in at least near the trap door nope no just sparks yep okay uh rest of the take a look like squeeze an eye in there It's a Petra's head, uh, disappears underneath the ground, comes back up. I mean... It... And... Is there someone? Uh... No, it's empty. It's, uh... It's if it are, you're literally... You see all the handiwork, the, the... The streaks in the mud that you made yourself several hours before. Nobody has been here except for you. Okay. So, I... 
guess we can go down there then. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Well. I haven't. I haven't relayed any of this information. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. We just clueless. <laughs> At risk patrol. Speak your docker. You can speak now. Okay, there's no one down there. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, then let's go. Oh boy. Perry can, uh, goes down there first, uses his divine sense. If it's in the room, then we can search in the room, uh, in this, uh, the basement. If it's even further down, we can search for another trapdoor, another way down. Okay, so as you walk down, Euro. All of a sudden, your lantern no longer sparks, but blazes into a small, tiny, bluish flame. We're near. At go, least, a go. bit nearer than before. Yeah, ten feet, um, there is a door. Inside the door, you see this black stone. Uh, but this nice little room. Yuril, it reminds you of... That little nice place you've been underground for, what, months or years? Years. I was legit born in that thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I should have no social skills at all. I'm just very charismatic. I to <laughs> very charismatic, of course. Uh, but yeah. Well, uh, I am not very charismatic, but you know. Yeah, you see, you see several barrels, uh, like medium-sized barrels, and then you see two large barrels. Uh, it's uh, nothing else, literally just barrels. Uh, the majority of the room, which is like 30 by 40, um, just empty. I would like to try and uh, like lift, the, uh, lift the lids of the bigger barrels. <laughs> What is in there? Um, well, first of all, you, you try to, and I, you know, check if they're full. They're full! Uh... Respiratron, no! We don't... We don't... No, don't. But didn't Valentine say something about the barkeeper going through a barrel? Maybe you can go through these barrels! They're filled with alcohol, no. I... I mean, are they all? I mean, giving giving a simple thud and maybe pushing them side to side, you can feel a liquid and you feel the swirl. So you assume that it's liquid. No, but you said that there was another door. Uh, yeah, the door you came from. Oh. <laughs> yeah! You said- Huh? Anyway, Feyre, let's c come down here. Because there's a picture of when it went down through a hole through nothing into this room, and there she saw one door, and that door led, leads to the outside. Or from the outside, leads to this door, uh, to this room. Anyway. But yeah. Hmm? Feyren? Feyren? Oh, Feyren. He's, he's, I mean, he's muted. He's, he's, he said he's gonna go to the toilet, so decide what you wanna do. This, this room is pretty, um... I would like to investigate the walls, like, legit, like, okay. Roll me investigation, everybody, if you wish. Uh, oh, I'm plus three on that. Uh, well, while she's doing that, uh, that's the fit for turns to like Valentine. Yeah. And uh, it's ah. like. <laughs> Actually, huh? Valentine or Faron? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Karen is probably busy with uh, looking through the room with his divine sense. So yeah, Valentine. And it's like, pst, pst, you 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 wanna you wanna some have something that makes it harder to hit you? And yes, like, uh, very much holds, so. And like uh, holds a little uh, potion that uh, reminds you of a certain slime out to him. <laughs> so what? I just uh, I just drink it. Yeah, yeah, should, should, uh, should be, do stuff for about uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes worth of uh, just being harder to hit? Yes. Then yes, I will take that. That is wonderful. Thank you. It probably won't hold too long, so make sure to use it. 
<laughs> Wait, say that again? <laughs> it probably won't hold too long, so make sure to use it before then. Oh, okay. So I actually, I can't hoard it? No, no, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, gonna turn quite bad very fast. Oh, then I just yeah. chug it right there on the spot. <laughs> right now? <laughs> well, you drink it. You never anyway. know. I don't see anything on the walls. Divine nope. sense of uh, Feyren, question mark? Do I see anything? Well, Feyren, you feel there is a celestial presence, a small thing, a size of your fist, five, four feet below you, on a specific section on the floor, directly in the middle of the, of the entire actual room. It's hey. probably, like, a hatch or something, then. Or, like, we can just dig it out, no? Right. I mean... Um... If I hold my lantern to the middle, is it lighting up more? Yes. Probably, right? Yes. Slightly. You can see... You can see it's, like, a small little... You know, you know that's, uh, lighter, um... Volume where you can go from smallest to biggest flame on the lighter. That's basically yeah. the difference. Ah, okay. So I want. Is it like a wooden floor? No, it's it's black stone. A very familiar black stone. You roll to you. Okay. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, it's a picture. It's like what? I estimate it would probably at least hold a day, but that's fine. And uh, you feel uh, like you're a bit more agile for now, uh, giving you a plus one to AC for 10 minutes. So it's plus one to AC for 10 minutes? Yes. Sweet, I hope we fight something by then. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, not next time, you know how long it uh, lasts. Yep. Anyway, um... I'm sure I'm gonna get some more of those soon. Anyway, <laughs> I I don't see in the stone floor any cracks or something that look like uh, I could open anything. I mean, I mean, there they seem to be like massive, not massive, but like stone chunks nicely placed one by one in making the floor. You can try to pull out. Can I check. pull one out? Is it like strength loose? check? Oh, what fuck, I don't have- I can, I can do that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you have I'm more gagged. strength. I don't have strength. Who wants to pull out a block of floor out? It's just like, it's just rolling my stat, right? That's mm -hmm. how it works. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, <laughs> so, so you... Feyren, you grasp where you assume the, the item or the thing is below you. You grasp the little... Uh, segment is a half a square foot of block and you start to pull it you feel that there's something lo it's loose it's not like um, it's not it's not like jutted in and just you know permanently placed it's loose but it's fucking heavy and you can't pull it out oh okay Pain. but we know it's down there uh, quick question. Di Di how's Dianea doing? Like, watching the org? Is he up or...? Are you gonna go check? Uh, no, I'm I'm now Dianea, you know? I mean, yeah, she Wait, left, so... you left her alone to her own device. You don't but know Yeah, but we wouldn't know. Yeah, so... so why, I just why... said to know for uh, out of character. <laughs> Not gonna tell you. Metagaming. Yeah, Metagaming. After I, uh, after I finished, uh... Administering my new concoctions to Valentine. <laughs> um, so, uh, what, what were we doing? Pulling something out? Uh, I look up, no, to the door, like outside, and say, there's definitely a wooden trap door here. Like, this wooden stone is loose, there's probably a way down. Wooden stone? Can I try to... Wood, wood, wooden stone! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, can fucking I, hell. Can I, can I try to squeeze? Oh, yeah. 
But, but where are you gonna put your stuff? Like, if someone comes around and just sees a blob of stuff, they know that we're down there. Or you're down there. I mean, if I see you, they also know we're down here, so I don't but think my stuff is gonna make the difference. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just squeeze in there. Yeah. Take a look. <laughs> so, squeezing down there, slowly, gently, for a good... Yeah. what? Gently? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> You're describing it so, like... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Children, both of you. But yeah, <laughs> takes you a good half a minute, because... I am self-lubricating. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes you a good half a minute, and you get under it, and then you just see this shining, dim blue glow. You see a blue scarab. Uh, what seems to be just surrounded by roots, idly sitting, doing absolutely nothing. Scarab. Yes, it seems like an alive scarab. Uh, you don't know. You just see, see it, and you see that it's it's literally made of one bluish chitin. There is no deviation, no different colors, nothing. It's this slightly bright blue glow in the dark. And... I want to try and touch it. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um. Roll me. I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick. I I still can uh -oh. listen. <laughs> Roll me concept, Recipitra. Oh no. Suckers, I'm in danger. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Recifitra, you take 11 points of cold damage as all of a sudden, as you touch it, there's just... Uh, oh my god. F freezing icicles around your uh, glob, and then you realize that you feel pain as it just kind of falls down no longer part of you. Um, yeah. Um, it's just a scarab surrounded by roots. Wait, did I see that? Can I go up to her and heal her? No. You, 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 you can see part of Recipitor's body, but you're just seeing just slime. Just, just... No. It looks like a spill. The slime wiggles and pain for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, you're literally five foot, like, your body contorted for five foot of, like, inch, if not less, of width to the bottom of this. Even if you grab it, you can't really carry it anywhere, because you're kind of stuck. Well, not stuck, I mean, you... yeah, but... But would that keep Recifitra from touching it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know it's painful to touch it. True, true. But I retract back up and I'm like, there's a very cold blue bug there. So cold that it hurts. Oh, do you need, do you want me to heal you? I can do it myself. Okay. And she just kind of, uh, <laughs> she just kind of uh, spits slime into like a flask and then drinks it herself. <laughs> 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 so yeah, um, as she uh, creates a healing elixir and drinks that. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Damn, you forgot the space bar. Shaking my head. Indeed. Oh no. But yeah, oh shit, you're oh, back hey, at full. Let's at go. <laughs> um, so, question. Um, anybody else? Uh, 
anything you wish to do is, you know, you're kind of, you got the slab of stone you need to pull out, or, you know, crumble it and pull out bits by bit. So, I have that mace that Resificure gave to me, right? You do. So, I could hit the stone, and then also use Divine Smite, and then an extra smite on top of that. That would be a lot I'm of damage. I'm not sure stones are weak to light. It's... well, so thun, Thunderous Smite is Thunder damage. And then Divine Smite is Radiant damage, and then the rest of it is me hitting it. That's a lot of damage. I might break the stone. Huh, I, I will have to be double as sneaky to come up for that. <laughs> oh, right, yes, Thunderous, thunderous Smite is... <laughs> It's audible within 300 feet. Huh. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> well, I guess the question is, when we break this open, is it go time? Like, is there do we any just way we can, we... like, oh, silence the spell? Uh, it's a feature. It's How? Like, I, okay. I have this, I have this great, uh, this great liquid here that can make you stronger if you want to try lifting it again. Oh, yeah, Come we back. can try first before going going i would i would not destroy this i uh, also the bug i'm pretty sure there are a lot of them oh we should be careful if we're going down there we should pre prepare for fight okay. there isn't much to fight down there we don't know how uh, big the thing down there is like, you know what? Well, let me let me take a crack at it. I'll, I'll try to move it myself. <laughs> you're just you're just like fuck it. Stop arguing, fucking. Wait, it's just that. As, as There's nothing else. Uh, it's listen, Valentine. It's is you as, can get a as, grip oh, and as, it's heavy. Wait, wait, quick. Wait, wait, wait. As, as Valentine like walks up, I want to uh, like lick him with guidance. <laughs> like it would roll a <laughs> d4. Gently. <laughs> Roll a d4, you might actually pull it off. Ah, oh, <laughs> No, oh. it's- it's- it's budging, but it's heavy. Why are you not why, helping Why don't you? we- why don't we do it to- why don't we live together? Yeah! yeah. Don't have any strength, together. I won't be yeah. any help. <laughs> You're like doing the one I just realized, one. why- why are we doing it like this? <laughs> You can do that. I don't have any yeah, strength. Roll, roll, like, at all. Yeah, scroll, roll strength with advantage. Let's go. Let's let's pull it out. Okay. Well, that's a Petra like licks both of them. Oh, okay. I got a nineteen plus three. Yeah, so. Valentine, you're like you're like. Wait a minute. There's four of us, and yeah. why are we doing this one by one? <laughs> so all of you, get your grips in. You get your grippers on, and uh, I pull. And you pull out this slab that is four foot long, and then another one, and another one, and you see this beetle that is maybe four or five inches long at the bottom. Perfectly, perfectly encompassing the four um, of these stone rods that you pulled out. And it seems to be just sitting on top of a lot of uh, wooden roots. Uh, it seems just, it's, it's beautiful. It kind of shines like sapphire and it doesn't seem to react to you at all. Uh, okay, I slide down there. Well, Euro, are you going to go it's with my the lantern? Oh, going. your <laughs> lan- oh yeah, your lantern, your lantern is picking up some heat. No touching, very cold. Okay. It doesn't move when I, like, go near it. No, but your lantern is definitely reacting to it. Maybe you could try to warm it up with your lantern. Maybe, but how am I supposed to do that? I hold it put near the, the thing. thing. in the lantern. Well... I cannot put the thing in the lantern because it's technically just a silver cage. I can't open it. Okay. Huh. You smart ass. <laughs> the <whole> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hold it near the thing. Does it like budge? Well, the lantern. Well, you touch it with the lantern. You feel 
You you see the very bottom of your cage gets covered in frost, but besides that, it's uh, it's uh, nothing. It's it's okay. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, I could uh try to use sacred flame on that thing. Sacred flame. Yeah. I'm not sure how much radiant damage will help here. <laughs> right. I don't have any fire damage. I have had a rebuke and needs to hit me. <laughs> I mean, you know. The thing how is, that the, goes. the thing is, it's it's sitting on roots, and if I burn it, everything will will burn. You know. I have a tinder box. <laughs> <laughs> we want to try to I get wanna... it into the box. I want to take like two uh, crossbow balls and uh, try to like pick it up with the two crossbow balls. Like chopsticks? Yes. Uh, well, uh, as you try to, I guess, get with the bolts, all of a sudden the bolts frost over and you feel the intense cold is kind of rushing through the bolts slowly, gently, but uh, basically destroying the bolts in matter of seconds, making them into these icicles and then shattering them. Ah, uh, good thing we didn't go with my suit, my, uh, the thing I was gonna suggest. I was gonna suggest wrapping my whip around it. Ooh. Good okay. thing I don't need crossbow bolts anyway. I <laughs> wish Dinea would be here. She has mage hand, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't have mage hand. Mm. Um... I'm not sure what to do. Wait, Let me... so, wait. What's the issue? How big is it again? Uh, about, yeah, how big it is? About about four inches. Four inches. <laughs> Have yeah. I ever seen anything like this or heard of like history or nature? Called magic. History or nature. Or religion. History or na we can also do, yeah oh. religion. Oh, 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 oh. I I will choose nature. Uh, wait, what is my bonus? Yes. Ooh, wow. Risa. <laughs> Risa Feature knows the shit. I know nature. I have lived in it for my entire seven years. Um... Risa Fitra, you... You kind of just blink and all of a sudden the fucking information just kind of floods into your mind as if a floodgate of intelligence just kind of just... Um, I just I just remember this entire book that I've read about something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, there is a mythos of... Well, first of all, you all know... The incident that is called the Shattering. It's a tale as old as several centuries, uh, which is why this area is named the Shattering. Uh, because once upon a time, there were two moons that uh, were in the sky. But one day, all of a sudden, one of the moons were destroyed in the middle of the night, while the other got a massive scar, almost breaking in two. Those moons, the pieces of it, fell to the sky. And Risafitra, there are mythos of these pieces landing in isolated places and over time forming into aspects of the moon. Uh... Okay. Does she tell us that? It's a uh, moon star. Bruh. Anyway. <laughs> it, it wouldn't make any difference, like, if I do a religion check, I would, like, get the same thing, right? Eh, maybe different perspective, but uh, who knows? Who knows? Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna roll for religion. Damn, okay. <laughs> What's it? It's <laughs> Jesus! You look. We know everything. You, you everything. no. You you look upon oh this. You look upon this beetle, and you realize, this beetle, you, 
The shady elf by the lake, the lantern's all connected. You don't know why, but you feel an aspect of perseverance within the beetle. Unmoving, unflinching. Ooh. No aspect, no movement can stir it. I, uh... Yet... I was being told as much. Yet, Ural, for you, you feel yeah. like you know the way, you have the tools. The tools? <laughs> She's the queen, she knows the way. I have the tools. You're okay. so pretty. Do you tell us uh, about that? I'm, st I'm still, like, thinking. I'm still not saying anything. But, um, technically if I go near the beetle, I should, like, feel the cold, right? You don't. I don't. You don't. Then I touch it. You touch it. Um. <laughs> so, all of you see, as, as soon as uh, Euro touches the beetle at the bottom of this uh, little small dig, all of a sudden, she just collapses, face first oh. into the mud. Oh. And you see, I'm a man. I'm a yeah. dick. Jesus Christ. Oh God, zero. Uh, but I don't freeze. I don't freeze to death, right? <laughs> no, no. And you see, the beetle is gone. Uh, uh is he unconscious? He is, but oh. that's that's not the interesting part. Give me a second. Huh? One of your comrades fully unconscious is interesting. Nope, okay. I've seen it. Okay, so, Ural. The yeah. first sensation you feel is cold. The second sensation you feel is a lot of grass and flowers in your face. In my... Yes. Okay. As all of a sudden you see that you're no longer... At the bottom of this very uh, small uh, cramped pit, but you're in the middle of endless plains. Uh, not a single tree can be seen except except for just lands of grass and flowers growing. Question. Mm -hmm. Do I know this place? Roll Is there a river nearby? Roll me a history check with its advantage. Disadvantage! Yes. Oh god. Um, uh, I rolled twice and then... Wait. Yeah. Uh, you look at the sky. You look at the sky, you see just the massive moon. Full moon, but a massive scar in the middle. Uh, Thirteen. You, you look upon it. You think about it for a second. Uh, there's nothing that comes to your mind except for a singular word somewhere at the back of your skull. Home. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you hear these massive um, massive clicking sounds above you as you turn around and you see this. A giant beetle. Several okay. dozen times your size, glaring with cold blue eyes. Okay, uh, I turn around and uh, I'm in shock because that thing is giant. Yes. Uh. But by the way, uh -huh. yeah. like back back in the real world, uh, Red Sophia at this point is uh like half swallowing you and uh, like sucking on him, trying to find out what magic is affecting him with a ritual cast of Identify. Okay. Oh. Sure. <laughs> and you're not eating him, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm oh. just having a taste. Oh, no, <laughs> no. All right. no. You know. I think that is celestial, it. yes. <laughs> you, just hear, you just hear a whisper in your head. As its chitinous jaws move, 
It's been a while, little one. Uh, is it the same voice? Is it like the elf, elven no. voice? It's a different voice. It's, it's generalist. It sounds old and tired. Uh, do I know you? In one lifetime, maybe. In this one, no. But I remember uh, all. Okay. So, you're the beetle that was down there, right? I am but an aspect of a greater being. Same as you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so, why am I here? Why are you here? To oppose someone who tried to do you wrong, isn't that it? To I figure mean, out yeah. the truth of what you are, of what you will be, or what has become of you? Uh, uh, yeah, but... It's still kind of weird to just, you know, fall unconscious and wake up here. Well... I shall not keep any surprises for you. It will get weirder. It will be worse. Worse?! Oh god. Yes, it will be. Question is, it will be by your hand or by another? If you remember, will you claim vengeance upon this world? Or will you forgive and forget? I mean, I swore to, like, do justice, you know? So... <laughs> to, 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 to the moon lady, you know? To the moon lady. I mean, she asked me, and I think we have similar, like, goals, so... But either way, what, like... Like... Is, is something happening to me in real life? Like, am I dead? No! You're not am I dead. Am tasting something funny? <laughs> no, it's, it's been a good minute. You don't taste anything different. If you're just tasting warm flesh of an ASMR. Kinda. ASMR? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Asima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Do do you know like what connection you have to all this, like the lantern, the the church, like the sect, like the cult? I know that we're all connected. And yet, I know as much as you do, just in different aspects of it. So nothing. Great. It... I wouldn't say nothing. You know something, that means I know something. I... I know something? Perhaps. I did not came with the lantern, did I? But you did. So you must know something. I mean, somewhere near here, there is sacrificing going on, at least. As much as I understand. There should going on, but we only found you. Nothing, like, nothing else. Then you must find more. I mean, that, that, that's what I'm trying to do here, you know? <laughs> And I'll thank you for your persuasion upon this Pers task. Per persuasion? Yes, persuasion. Or, or do you not know what you're doing? You do not know, do you? It kind of shakes its head a bit. I'm not sure. I mean... It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know much of the world outside there where I'm just roaming around. If you say so. If you say but so. Should I roll persuasion still? Question? No, it's not. There's no persuasion. Huh? It's, 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 it's what the beetle said to you. 
Ah. Yes. Okay. Uh. Do I feel like any, like, did I get any magic? Like, did I feel like some energy flowing into me or some shit? You feel nothing. You feel just oh. same. Yeah, and cold. Cold. Okay. Mm. I'm honestly not sure how to continue this. Because the thing is just in front of me. It doesn't give me any information. It tells me it doesn't know much as I do, and I don't know much. At least not that much. <laughs> I'm so... I don't... You get, I, you get summoned to the altar world by the, by the godlike entity, and the godlike entity's like, bro, I was kind of hoping you would have some deets. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> as you kind of stare... Like, stare. Like, yeah, I don't want, like, any harm to other people like me. That's what I want. Well, in that case, make haste. I suffered, like, through my whole childhood. And then you just started trauma dumping on an elder god. <laughs> you see, it all started when I was born. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I did not. I was... Yeah, I did not. This has turned into a therapy session. Nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> but as the beetle stares at you, as you say that you suffer much, it kind of shakes its head again, and you hear this massive crack somewhere in the sky. And oh, you have no clue. Yeah, but I'm trying to get a clue here. You don't help me here, sir. <laughs> then ask. For I know little. God, what should I ask? He's like... a big stupid beetle. <laughs> I, has, I slightly have the feeling that he doesn't know. <laughs> um, do you know where... Elsewhere I can find something like you or... The things, like, like some spots of the cult? Spots. Shattered, broken... Scattered across the world. You shall wow. find many of us. Different aspects of me. You. All of us. I am an aspect. A person. I'm an aspect. A perseverance. A determination. I am unmoving. I am unflinching. That is who I am. And that's who I will be. That's what can I offer you, if you wish. Your assistance, like, in trying to free this poor- To, to, like, set everything right. Hmm. Yes. I mean, as an aspect of a moon, isn't that, like, our duty? It is. I shall accompany you, and you shall see me. Only you shall see me. But now, I need to rest, and you need to wake up. For one of your companions is eating upon your skin. As all of a sudden, you really really just snap that tree out of your cupboard and receive it. I panic. You're alive. Recipitra, it's been like a good... In two minutes, you didn't get your cast off as all of a sudden getting thrown off. <laughs> I, I, I like, cough. I was like, and so huddled over. I, 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 I sit up, I cough like, did I get something in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> he oh, promised she was not mouth? eating you. Are you okay? What happened? Uh. Oh, also, yeah, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Don't good. Worry, I would only eat you if you're dead. <laughs> so, what I found out, like, I did fell unconscious into another, like, I could say plane, yeah. And I woke up to this beetle, and I tried to look to the be- down to the beetle, but it's gone, right? Uh, yeah, it's gone. Looking at your lantern, though, it's extinguished. There's no more flame, but uh, 
at the very top of it, the cage, in the plain and uh, minimalistic uh, cage, there's a tiny beetle stuck to it made of silver. Okay, uh... And first of all, I'm shocked because I don't see the beetle, but then I look at the lantern, it's extinguished, and I see in the cage, out of silver, the beetle. Yep. Like, stuck to the... F yeah, a small... Well, not, not as big as the one that you saw at the bottom. Maybe yeah, yeah. an inch and a half, made of silver. Okay. That wasn't that uh, before, was it? No, it wasn't. It is the beetle. Uh, so basically, uh, th this beetle is an aspect of the moon, and I got him, him, her, him, I think him, uh, to help me to do, like, what we technically do now, not really. I think I should fi f find more of these and gather them. Did you ask him what the moon tastes like? No, I did not ask him what the moon tastes like. Seems like a Why waste not? of opportunity. Yeah. Um, either way. So, He's... do you know the location of one of these cults? Because this doesn't look like, uh... Doesn't look like anything's happening here. Tried to ask him, but he didn't give me much of an answer. He said that there's a lot uh, here, at least. Not here, but around the world. So it does not help much. So I guess we just come along to it. Technically, like, if my lantern lights up, we're kind of in the area. But m I don't much uh, don't know much more. But at least uh, it uh, like it took my like it, it gave me the offer to help me. So I don't know yet what I can do with him, but I think I will find out. Anyway, we should get the hell out of here. Right, yeah. right, right. So are right, you gonna, let's close are it you, all up. Yeah, are you gonna put the stone pieces back or just gonna just leave them? Oh, hell no, that thing was heavy. <laughs> we, we should, <laughs> I think should. we should, though. Uh, we should be why would the orc any... have had this to begin with? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Why is it, why is it here? I'm not sure. But we could, uh, you know... Interrogate? Yeah. What the... <laughs> how... How... Because if we find out where he got it, or why it's down there, it could be a lead. Exactly. And if he's part of the cult, he uh, deserves to die anyway. I suppose... Maybe. He didn't I know it was down here. Right. And he just put his wine here because it's nice and cool. I mean, yeah. maybe. I mean, it told me it's, un like, down there for a while, so it could be possible. All right. Well, maybe, I suppose maybe... we could give him the benefit of the doubt. We could at least try to interrogate him. If he doesn't know anything, we can, like, you know, get the hell out of here. I mean, I think an interrogation regarding this would end... It, it violently, because this, the conversation will begin with, hey, we are in your basement. Wait, no, I, I, okay, so what I can do, I can cast command on him, tell him to, like, sit on a chair, and, like, just stay there, and then we tie him to the chair. I think he's pretty strong. Or, like, restrain him somehow, while he's, like, we can, like... I can I grab can, him. I can he's tell just a him half work, right? Yeah, I can tell him to, like, basically not just like lie down or something and then we can like you know yeah I think that could work sadly we don't have a truth like spell like truth zone thing we spell. don't but tying, kind of tying cool. him up is like a good start oh I yeah. got a truth spell alright <laughs> you got no you got a truth spell wait oh yeah no Okay. You mean like I violence? Pat, I, I pat my whip. <laughs> okay. Anyway, maybe, let's let, maybe, let's get going. Maybe, maybe I could make something like that and uh, 
She bobs up like some very, very obviously poisonous mushrooms. Uh, I, I mean, think it would kill him. Hang on to those mushrooms, though. So, are we actually going to interrogate the half orc? Yeah, but I, I still think we should put everything back together. I. I think. All right, fine. But if, but if we're interrogating him, then he'll know anyway. So then it's like, yeah. Him. So there's no point. I guess. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay so... Fine. I'm not one Let's for go. cleaning up my messes. We should. We should start. Not aggressive. We should. Well, uh, since 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 here's the best part. Since I I can only guess the Nia's reaction to everything. Um. Uh, Valentine and the rest, as you, as you make your way up. Walk back in. Yeah, you see Half-Orc is sitting, uh, by the table, uh, drinking water, while Denia is just, uh, idly looking at him, just also drinking water. And like, uh, uh, oh no no, I thought she was like, behind the, the counter, and, like, cleaning a cup or something, that no. would be so cute. <laughs> no, she, she, she is- oh, he's already awake, huh? Yeah, as uh, as Dania looks at all of you, says, "Hey, hey, Dionea." So, so we've been we've been caught. We've no, no, been no. caught. He's the one that's been caught. The half or the don't, half. We don't know that he's he's done. We we don't. The half or looks just confused. And um. he. Hey, he kind of looks at the, uh, he, he kind of looks at the tiefling, the Danny, and says, "I mean, I woke up because I heard a loud banging, and there was a squirrel stuck in my trousers. So, I had... besides the point, basically, I, I told some stuff uh, to your companion here, but she was curious." Uh, Danny looks at Olive and says, "You said to keep him distracted." <laughs> Okay, wait. I think. Okay, okay. Let me let me start this, and then if it goes wrong, I'll get him to like lie down or something, and then we can actually interrogate him if we have to. Jesus Christ, you're saying so that. Okay. <laughs> wait, no, I, I, no, we're like huddled. It's like you know, team huddle. <laughs> okay, are we are we cool with that? <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, um, so, uh, Mr. Barkeeper, do you, would you know anything about a garab beetle buried in your basement? The, the what? Um, there was a, um, there was a scarab beetle, uh, a representative of the moon. He uh, looks, under... he, he passed him inside for everybody, he looks fucking confused. <laughs> Uh, what is my passive? How do you calculate passive insight? It's plus wisdom modifier. I'm just saying, even Valentine can see the confusion on a half orc. Plus three. Red Sephidra leans like to the rest of the team and uh, whispers very easily here, but Detective Red Sephidra takes another point! <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait. Wait. Hold up. You, you've been to my basement? Again? I, 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 uh. Okay, uh, it's, um, it's, it's the divine magic things. We, yeah, it was, like, linked to a cult, so we have to check it. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna, alright, that's but fine. Continue. We, can, we can put back the stone. I mean. I'm not gonna put back the stone. He kind of, he kind of scratched his head. A cult? Here? Well, that's why we wanted to ask if you knew anything about maybe the previous owner, or... Uh, he kind of scratched his head. The previous owner was a halfling that ran this inn for like 50 years before he died. And uh, yeah, it took over for, what, 70 years now? 70 years? How old are you? Seven. Seven. Oh. oh. Yes. Uh, do you know where his body lies? Like, where, uh, like the... Yeah, where they bury him. His uh, name. And his, his name. His name? Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> not, not, not him, but just also uh, any of his loved ones. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Next uh, kin. He scratches his head a bit. Uh I think his name was Teldrin. I don't know if I know his last name. Uh basically star this tree in thing that that was his gig. Um died uh, basically found him dead one day in his bed peacefully passed uh buried I, I don't know didn't really give a shit uh loved ones he shrugs fuck if I know you don't know who he was where he died where he was buried what his name was his name you I just think... got the tavern out of oh nothing. right you just got the name I'm sorry um, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Um, okay, if Valentine isn't gonna help me, can I ask Resificia for her magical steroids so I can put back the stone? <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, the stones are not exactly hard to put back in, it just needs a bit of time. Pulling out is a but difficult yeah, but part. Yeah, it's play. Okay, fine, roll, roll, let's see how well you can put them okay. back what, in. What, what do the magic steroids do? <laughs> Uh, 1d4 on top of it. Anyway. Bruh, <laughs> why is he so weak? Wait, no, I've got another plus 4, uh, so yeah. 18. Yeah, you, you put them back in, I guess. Not, not yes. plus 4, plus 1d4. No, oh no, yeah, no. but like, my, my modifier is He forgets four. his modifier. Yeah, that's yeah. small mm. brain. But yeah! At the moment, it's somewhere um, around 1 a.m. in the morning. You interrogated the half orc who knows almost nothing about this halfling. Uh, Detective Retsavitra! <laughs> I think we could, uh... I think we could, like, go to the graveyard and try to find a clue. Maybe the la lantern lo uh, lights up a bit. Wouldn't be the first grave we dug up. Oh. I mean, uh -huh. this place doesn't really have a graveyard. Either they get burned and their ashes scattered, or family members go and pick their bodies and they go do something. Because this is sort of like a military outpost type of deal. You probably noticed there's not exactly a lot of life except for military people. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Okay. I guess I will just like go around the town and see if I can like get another sign. Alrighty. It is 1 a.m. What is everybody doing? I can't do this alone. If I get a sign, I will like get my comrades. Okay. I'll I'm go gonna to stick sleep with Diania. Oh you know, shit! Everything. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I think they're serious. I just infiltrated oh. for a moment. Um, oh god. A anyway, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down with Dianea and uh, tell her about our great adventures and about how Detective Red Zafidra was right yet again. I do how <laughs> many just suddenly talked. Oh no. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. Uh, uh yeah. I I will walk around the small town. Uh, roll me an investigation check, why not? Let's see if the lantern lights up? To see where you head up or maybe see something else. Calm down. Calm down. Damn. Investigation, you said, right? Yes. Maybe we're gonna spot something interesting as well, who knows? Anybody else? It's 1 uh a.m. No, I'm good. I'm a uh, real shit. I'm actually like super starving right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, it's it's. I mean, technically, uh, it's almost three hours. So, yeah. But also, um, yeah, you find jack shit. So, yeah. Okay, so I guess that's it from here. Mm. Okay, I go back to my friends. 
and tell them there's nothing anymore here. Like, I didn't see anything. Or get anything. I mean, I'm asleep, but... Yeah. <laughs> Technically. I, I mean, to the, everyone who is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleeping people. <laughs> I mean, technically. I know I thought you're still awake, so I just walk and talk, and then I see everyone is asleep, and he's like, huh. You literally, you literally all woken up to do a 20 minute thing and then go to do another sleep. Yeah, pretty much. Let's go. So I guess since you found nothing in this, in the, in the settlement, I assume everybody takes another long rest to get to the morning. Yeah. Because I guess 1 a.m. to head out is a bit too early. <laughs> uh, okay, in More that rich. case, in, ca in that case, if you're taking a long rest yet again, I think that's a good place to call it because it's almost three hours. Yeah. Four hours. Is. Is, yeah. It's also very nice to end with uh, me telling Dianea what happened because then <laughs> that is where we can tell her next time what happened. Yeah, oh, Rest of the picture, next next session we're gonna have a recount from you and all of your cool adventures. Oh god, I should have <laughs> <take> notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope so, you yeah. Anything you wish to say before I'm shutting the stream down with no survivors, because the session is over. Thank you for coming. Yep, thanks for being here. Time. I'm gonna go eat. Yeah. Same. Eat. I have... yeah.